Hey guys, it's Tom from Something RS here, and welcome to our 100th video, hooray! So in celebration of this quite big milestone, uh, just before we get started, the footage in the background is just me doing a greater demon slayer task, it's not really relevant to what I'm going to say. But I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm starting to get back into RuneScape now because I've sort of transitioned into the uni uh, sort of phase, and I'm sort of still trying to manage my time properly and stuff like that, but I've decided I'm going to have a proper schedule for videos for the first time ever. So here's what's going to happen from now on. Every Monday, that's every Monday, I'm going to try and do a rant, which I will do today in this video to sort of kickstart it a little bit. Basically, I'll just choose a topic and just talk about it whilst talking over footage. Today I'm going to talk about RuneScape questing and that kind of thing, but feel free to leave suggestions for future topics in the comments below. And every Wednesday I'm going to start doing what I'm going to call a rags to riches sort of series. Feel free to leave better title suggestions in the comments, but basically I'm going to do PVM every week and just sort of keep track of the drops that I get and the money I spend on supplies and stuff like that and uh, I should probably set like a goal for it but I'm not too sure what goal I want to get just yet might go for like a hundred mil worth of monster drops but hopefully I'll be getting some good drops um, so I'm, I'm way overdue for good drops so that should be a good series for you guys to watch so feel free to su suggest monsters that I should kill in the first episode on Wednesday and also a better title for the series. I'm also going to do other stuff alongside this set schedule but I don't want to set anything in stone right now just because I don't know like how I'll be able to cope with the current schedule at the minute but expect to see other stuff as well as those two things that I've just said. And also if anyone doesn't know about our gaming channel I'll leave an annotation link to that on the screen right now. Uh, basically, I'm going to start doing one video of a Let's Play every week. I'm not too sure what day just yet, but I'm thinking either Tuesdays or Thursdays. It sort of depends how much time I have with uni work and that kind of thing. Uh, it will be edited to cut out the crap, like traveling between stuff where I'm not really saying much, so I'll just edit that stuff out. So hopefully that should make for more enjoyable Let's Play videos for you guys. Now the game that I'm sort of contemplating on doing, I have four titles in mind that I could do a let's play on. It'll either be The Witcher 2, L.A. Noir, Magicka, or Deus Ex Human Revolution. Haven't totally decided on that just yet, but I think I'll sort of decide on Thursday. So you have until Thursday to suggest which one of those games you think I should do. Feel free to suggest other games, but I can't guarantee that I'll even have the game that you, should, that you suggest, so just try and suggest one of the games that I've already mentioned, and uh, I'll be sure to consider your input. So the topic for today's rant will be RuneScape quests and having sort of multiple paths and choices within them. The reason for this topic is because recently I've played quite a few games where you have a few ways to deal with a situation, which is usually either a good or evil moral choice, but it's not always. It could just mean that there's multiple ways to contribute to one overall goal. And I just sort of wondered if this kind of questing would be suitable for RuneScape. Now, off the top of my head, I can't really recall that many quests that have distinct multiple choices within the quest, but a few that I can think of is the Shield of Vara free-to-play quest, where you can sort of choose what gang you want to be in and that'll sort of determine the outcome of the quest a little bit. There's also Carnelian Rising, which is fairly recent. I think it came out a few months ago. Uh, you could choose how the sort of player-made dungeon looks in that quest. And I also think Stolen Hearts, which is the most recent quest series for Alcarid, you could sort of choose different dialogue choices in that quest, I think, but I'm not totally sure on that. And I don't really think it had much impact on the outcome of the quest anyway, but I think it determines the title rewards that you got from the quest. But you could also just choose what title you wanted anyway. But main point, 
The fact that I can't recall many quests with distinct multiple choices could mean that there is a distinct lack of them. There's nothing wrong with having linear quests, it's just I think sometimes it'd be nice to have more choice in what the quest involves. But I guess the main question here is could RuneScape actually benefit from having more choices in how quests play out? So one point is that it could make quests just generally more interesting because you have a bigger impact upon the story and you're not just going along the same path that everyone else is so you have more sort of personalization for it. And there's also less need for using guides. But then on the flip side, do quests even need to offer more choice anyway? I mean, linear stories are still enjoyable. There's lots of AAA games out there, like, for instance, the Battlefield 3 and Call of Duty single-player missions. They're all completely linear, but still kind of enjoyable nonetheless. And if having multiple choices in a quest meant that there was different rewards that you could get from the end of the quest, it could actually screw people over who don't necessarily get the best reward, as some rewards could be better than others. Uh, but then you could say, oh, well, why not just give the same reward? But if you give the same reward, then what's the point in multiple choices if you only care about the rewards and not the story? Because a lot of people just sort of hold down the space bar and just skip through all the dialogue and don't really care about the story. And if you are one of those people who just don't care about story and just want to use guides to just get through it as fast as possible, it could end up confusing you if you end up accidentally choosing the wrong way that the guide has not suggested that you do. There's also other factors to consider as well, such as it would take Jagex a lot more development to actually make these quests, and they wouldn't be able to release quests as often because they have to put more development time into offering people different choices. And it could go further and say that if there were too many choices involved and too many different outcomes, there would be too many new quests that would be needed for the same storyline in order to cater to each possible outcome. So quests which do offer lots of choice would probably not be made in a continuing series and would just be a one-off story to save on development time. Which would suck if you particularly enjoy the story of that quest line and it would just be less engaging in general if it was just a one-off story, but that's not necessarily the case, but it might be a generalization to say that. And if having less continuing storylines would make it less engaging, that would kind of defeat the point of having multiple choices in the first place, which is to engage the player. There's also the fact to consider that if you make a wrong decision in a quest and you're going to be stuck with that and you can't go back, it's not like a single player game where you have save points. And if you can revert that wrong decision, then what's the point in having that choice if it has no real meaning in the first place? Anyway, so to summarise, a lot of people have thought in the past that having multiple choice quests in RuneScape with more alternative outcomes would be a good addition, but I'm personally still a bit sceptical about that idea. I just don't think it would translate well into RuneScape, because RuneScape isn't like the other games where multiple choice quests make more sense. Anyway, that's it for this rant. If you like this discussion, then give us a thumbs up. Feel free to share your thoughts on multiple choice questing in the comments below. I do read every single comment that I get, so I'll be interested to see what you guys think about this topic. Should be a d good discussion, I think. Keep it civil, though. <laughs> if you want to see more rant videos like this one, then click the annotation on screen right now to view a playlist of my rant videos. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you Wednesday for the first of the Rags to Riches series. Take care.